Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to wire up subwoofers. The reason why I'm doing this is because a lot of people have been saying, I hear if you wire your subwoofer um, incorrectly, you don't get the power, which is absolutely true. With uh, wattage, you know you're trying to get up higher. Um, and if you don't wire your subwoofer right, or you have the wrong impedance, you can either damage the subwoofer or the amplifier. And this mainly happens when you're wiring uh, multiple subwoofers and dual voice coilover subwoofers. So I'm going to go into a cool tool that I use. Um, so first thing you're going to have to do is go to Google. Um, actually, I'm going to just show you how to get there. Uh, not how to get to Google, but all this other stuff. So you're going to go to google.ca. And then you're literally going to just type in um, the or wiring diagram we're gonna click that and as you can see for me it's the first it should probably be the first one for you subwoofer wiring diagram now I'll show you why this is so cool as you can see it says select quantity and impedance so uh, let's say I'm gonna do two ohm, or two speakers and just as an example, we're going to use single voice coilovers for the first one. And they're four ohms each. And then we click view wiring options. As you can see here, it's going to tell you these are the cups on the box. So on the front, it, on your front of your subwoofer box, you're going to have um, your positive and your negative. And that's all you're going to be doing is, you can see, okay, two ohms load, eight ohms load. If your amplifier can t handle the 2 ohm load, I would suggest doing that because if you wire it to 2 ohms, um, depending on your brand and the quality of your amplifier, it will actually put out more power at 2 ohms than it will at 8. So for example, with certain Alpine amps, uh, we'll say the MR, PM500 and other amps like that, um, they'll do, we'll say uh, 500 watts at 2 ohms. And then they'll only do like 300 watts, we'll say, at 8. So as you can see, you're going to want the 500 watts. So you're going to shoot for the 2 ohm one. So as you can see here, it would just say wire up uh, plus to plus and then to plus. So you're just joining them all. Now if your box has two cups on the back end, you can always wire this one to that cup, this one to that one. And then what you do is you just branch them in the center. That way, if you ever buy another amplifier and you want to try different wiring or something like that, you always could. I don't see why you would. You probably could stay safe with two ohms. It's when you get into zero ohms and stuff like that. So let's say I want to do two speakers. And uh, we're going to go dual voice call over. So the ones with uh, four posts on the back of the subwoofer. As you can see here, now we have multiple posts on each subwoofer, and now you have to wire them up. So you go positive, positive, negative to negative again, and then you're going to join them here, and that's going to drop it down to, say, 0.5 ohms. So you want to make sure your amplifier can handle 0 ohms. If it can't handle 0, then you're, um, you're not really going to benefit from that uh, because you'll probably end up burning out your amp. So you want to make sure that you're checking this. You want to make sure you uh, match the impedances. And then down here, as you can see, this is for a 2 ohm load. So I would probably go 2 uh, if you don't know the ohmage of your amplifier because 2 is usually you know, the safe one. Once again, it's one of those things where just read your model number off and type it into Google and then wire you know, according to that. I'm just going to show you up to 2 because after that, you just start uh, wiring or heck, let's show you how to wire four subs, why not? Four do voice callovers. This is why I love this. It saves you doing all the trouble. It's gonna show you how to bring them down. This is for one ohm load, this is for a four ohm load. As you can see, once you start playing with wiring, you can bring the impedances down a lot, okay? So other than that, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions while wiring your subwoofer, please post in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you out. Please like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching.